A very good afternoon once again from the sports desk. Ashley Cooper testifies that sport, more specifically rowing, changed his life. His journey captured in the book A Most Beautiful Thing and then made into a movie has inspired many. But in particular, it inspired two South Africans who knew his story would resonate with the Law Hill Maritime Center learners and other children in their rowing program. What started with a tweet ended with a visit to the school by Cooper this past week. In the late 90s, the west side of Chicago was not a good place to grow up. It was like a war zone. This is a documentary film based on the life-changing experience that rowing had on Arche Cooper's life. It chronicles the first African-American high school rowing team in that country, made up of young men, many of whom were in rival gangs from the west side of Chicago, all coming together to row in the same boat. Now, I grew up in Chicago, uh, a very violent neighborhood. Uh, you know, my mother was on drugs. Um, I've never said the word dad a day in my life. My brothers were gangsters. And, um, and, and I grew up very poor, not having much to eat, not much food. And, um, you know, I've lost a lot of friends. I heard gunshots when I slept. I skipped over pools of blood. We have seen what some soldiers have seen in war, but before we was 14 years old. And because of that, it was hard to learn. Hard, you know, it was hard to, to even operate day to day because of that kind of violence. And then rowing came and changed my life. The sport of rowing was not an introduction to just sports but an introduction to wellness. You don't do well because you don't feel well. And Rowan helped with that. It was meditative. It had as, uh, extra educational opportunities and, and support. So um, I um, was there for that. I came here to South Africa and I saw some of the same things. Um, it was kids who grew up uh, experiencing the same kind of violence in a very segregated city where there's a half and a half knots. And, um, and so being able to be in that movie theater and see those kids that were uh, from communities like mine, and I see people that was not, and then to be able to kind of address those issues and talk about how rowing and higher education and learning how to swim and, 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 and people giving their time, talent, and treasure to give these kids an opportunity, it was a magical, magical response. Everyone was so into it. Kids were crying. Every kid was going up to me saying, that was my life. That was my life. Thank you for giving me hope. And, and um, it, it was just special. I, I, felt, I felt like I was at home. It's a story that resonated with a number of South African students at the Law Hill Maritime Center at Simonstown School. The story inspired the head of the center, Debbie Owen, after receiving a copy of his book from their rowing coach that began a chain of events that led to the rower, author, and motivational speaker visiting South Africa. Sure. Um, the Law Hill Maritime School reached out to me back uh, in the States, where I'm at, in New York City. And, um, you know, they asked me, can I come take a visit? Uh, they have a rowing program that... Um, can use my expertise, and I came here, and I'm telling you, it's been a powerful moment going from um, school and class to class and um, getting young people um, from underrepresented communities, from under-resourced communities on the water to learn how to row and to tell the, their stories and, and hear their stories and tell my story. It's been a powerful time. The center's rowing program run by the Cape Coastal Rowing Club began in 2015, and it was started to provide practical skills, knowledge, and to experience the ocean firsthand. They now have more capacity to grow the love for the sports, but Cooper says he wants to do more. Now, I want to go back home and talk to my foundation and, and give Universal Western Cape rowing machines, and uh, we already have given many rowing machines uh, to Law Hill Maritime. Um, and what they are experiencing here in South Africa is the same thing that kids of color are experiencing um, in Chicago, and that's the equity issue in the sport. There are rowers who show up every day, and we feel like their honor is not, their commitment is not honored. So uh, they have like, the oldest boats, very few ergs, less days to practice, can't travel to compete against, against other programs because of the lack of funding. So we want to be able to try to help support that so those kids can become Olympians here in Africa and represent their country and that those, these boats in Africa can represent the full diversity on the, in the Olympic Games. According to Cooper, the opportunities the sport offers are life-changing 
and something he believes that others can take advantage of. Bringing the right team together to give these programs the resources. And when we can do that, because you learn in Rowan that you cannot do the work of eight, but if eight can do the work of one, we get it done faster. So we need teachers, educators, um, businessmen and women to come together to help support these programs. And then I will go in there and say, listen, I was a kid that didn't have much. I had bad grades. I started rowing. I started traveling. I learned how to swim. Uh, you know, the water was my place of safety. It was my peace. I was downloading that serenity. Rowing calms the storms. And it gives you an opportunity to go to college. Right now in the U.S., 50% of the people that are recruited to university are international students. And when I left, they were like, bring some rowers back. And so my hope is that we can give high school kids opportunities to row back to universities on, on scholarship. Uh, and so, you know, it's, it's not only telling kids that this sport will help with their mind, their body, and their souls, but also can give them opportunities to go to the States and then come back and represent their country in the Olympics. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Valen Kirtley. We love you, Cooper! We love you, Cooper! We love you, Cooper! We love you, Cooper! We love you, Cooper!